Hello and welcome back. So we're just gonna talk about the magic for the Chaos Dwarfs now because it seems pretty pretty interesting and I'm comparing it here on screen to a Chaos Sorcerer Lord. Now I'm not gonna talk about the stats because technically speaking a Dwarf Lord should be stronger than a human because that's the general nature of things. But as you can see on screen round about uh where is it can you see my cursor oh you can't see my cursor why can't you see my cursor? oh there we go around about there these are the four laws of magic that you get with shoot so you get death fire who shoot and metal and that kind of makes them very similar to chaos who get death fire metal and shadow so there is a good amount of similarity there um but like the passive for fire is is like way not as cool as the passive that you get for you know anything else so basically this is the passive for fire which is basically giving you a uh, weakness to fire in an area which is pretty good you know effective range is the entire map but it's 15 seconds but without that for who shoot what we actually have is this up here which is a passive which does direct damage 15 to 30 per second with an effective range of 55 meters. That is pretty large. Plus you can put this guy on a flyer, so he's going to be able to zip around quite a bit. That's going to make it quite, um, quite interesting to see what you can do. Plus, like, you can stack so many fire combinations with the uh, Chaos Dwarfs that this is going to make it, I don't know. Maybe it's a bit broken on release because like Tomb Kings and Vampires that have weaknesses to fire, this seems like it's going to go way over the top. Because basically it's going to affect everyone in range. So you fly this guy over the area you want to hurt and then you start casting magic and it starts doing damage as well. And there's seemingly no repercussion to this. I hope they've added a bit of fluff somewhere and they start turning to stone at least in the campaign, if not in multiplayer. So Ash Storm is a pretty standard uh, area spell. It's a hex because they only have hexes and damage spells, it would seem. So effective range, 200 meters. And this is kind of going to be good, in my opinion, because speed's a bit of a weakness, but also you want to add weakness to fire to your targets. Now, the only problem I prospectively see with this spell is the cost for the values of it. As you can see on screen, like the low level value is 10, which in multiplayer is, is pretty steep, right? There's only so much magic in multiplayer games as well anyway to make it more competitive. So I'm not sure if you'd really want to bring this one because you're only really going to be debuffing speed and adding fire damage. Yeah, you're going to do your passive as well. So, you know, there's a double hit there. Like against Tomb Kings, this will be uh, absolutely brutal against against a Lord, but it, it does seem like overkill in the campaign it's probably going to be great because you'll be able to mismatch it with other things and it's it's kind of an odd one because in comparison like you got a, a buff sword attack you got the burning head they've got their own thing they have their own equivalent of fireball and um, they don't have any defensive buffs see fire is far more defensive they kind of have a vortex and they kind of have a bombardment but we'll get into those in a second but like over in all these these values, this this doesn't really mash up against anything. This is it's like a reverse kind of um, cascade of fire, I guess, because you're gonna make them slower so you can shoot them up more. Because you've got the armor and the extra gun power to shoot them with. But I don't know. This this spell kind of feels janky and overpriced. But I guess it's because of the combination of things you can have. Because stacking. Fire resist debuff on units could be pretty brutal. Now let's go and look at the next spell then. So Burning Wrath is a magic missile. So this is kind of your equivalent to the fireball, but it's way, way different because it does a number of projectiles. So it's either one or three. Where's my mouse gone? It keeps disappearing for some reason. Okay, so the low level one, six magic, yeah, it's not bad. This doesn't actually direct target anything. This is more of an airy thing. So it's kind of an arced fireball that then hits and spins into a mini vortex, which is strong versus multiple combatants. The damage seems pretty good, like for six magic. Um, what do you get for six magic? I mean, that's like the equivalent of fireball. It is the same damage as fireball, but it's over an area. So it's gonna 
spread it throughout everything in that region. So I imagine it's going to be pretty reasonable. Like you don't see many people using Fireball all that much because it has limited application. But upgrading this from a from a six to a ten so that you've got a bit of AOE, it does it does spiral off rather randomly. Um, I don't have early access, so I can't really show you, but. It, uh, it seems like it could be worth it for 10 depending on the situation if you get a big blob but they've also got other spells to deal with big blobs so this is probably more campaign focused but this is way more practical than the other spell I feel. So Burning Wrath I think is a big win and um, it's probably accurately pointed at these, at these point levels because you don't really want to spend too much on a basic spell. But all that being said... Okay, and then we have... The Curse of Hashut, which, um, yeah, it's another kind of interesting one because it causes damage to combatants. It's strong versus characters and single entities. I'm not sure why they felt the need to put that in there, or maybe they'll just clarify in future. Um, because like you don't, you don't really get the it's strong versus a single character definitions. Like, do we have something like does Shadow have a strong versus single character? Yeah, so, you know, that says work versus single combatant rather than single combatant and character. So, like, I don't really see the need for duplicating that. But, anyway, it is pretty solid. This looks very much like uh, Skaven. So, if we just look at a, a ruin engine, yeah. These guys, these guys get, um, yeah. So that is 50 to 100 and minus 50 armor. So actually this, this does more. The duration is, hmm, actually it's, it's way better for Skaven, isn't it? So I actually thought that this would be on par, but it seems like the Skaven got a slight advantage with this one. So this spell is probably a bit overrated as well. Like I was originally looking at it and thinking this is probably pretty good, but um, you know, it does have an, a more effective range. 200 meters is a lot more practical than 100 meters. But still, like 11 and then being upgraded to 16 and no damage increase compared to the Ruin spell. Um, cleansing Ruin. It seems like the Skaven have definitely got the advantage on that one. So all in all, the magic probably isn't as overpowered as I was thinking, to be honest with you. Because looking at it as a base spells they do seem ridiculously strong but actually these might be far more balanced than they actually initially gave them credit for the dark subjugation this is a nice little debuff so reduce melee defense juice leadership very practical i'm not sure you really need the leadership debuff to be honest though because once you reduce their armor by uh sorry their armor their melee defense by 24 you're probably going to rip through those units and, and for six magic, that's pretty good. I'm not sure if the upgrade version is worth anything. I think maybe that's supposed to be AOE because these are screenshots obviously from development in progress. Like surely that's just not one target. If that's AOE for 10, then that's probably a solid spell. Uh, if you go heavy into the Chaos Warriors, running them into another unit and then taking 24 melee defense off the other unit, probably gonna help you do a hecking lot of damage really fast. So yeah, that, that's pretty solid as spells go. Flames of Ashrog. So this one is a bombardment spell. So like going back to the warrior, if we look at the lore of fire, this is kind of like this one. So now does it stack up? So it's kind of the same. Like the range damage and explosion damage is the same. The damage per second is an additional i think so this is stronger because the bombardment is a single thing but standing in the fire obviously you know gonna cause you quite a bit of pain but it's strong versus single units good against armor so this is gonna do quite a large impact if you can get a unit to stand still it's gonna be one of those kind of things but i again 18 magic and, and 26 it's extremely expensive so it might be rather effective and overcast it is 76 damage per second that is pretty brutal like for an area for for camping a corner or holding a choke point this could be a really solid spell 
but the cost of it is still kind of like questionable you know like i can do two and a half of these for one of them at, at triple damage i'm not sure for five seconds of 70 damage it's really worth it and plus it's got to be spot on so this is gonna be interesting at least the magic isn't seemingly op i was thinking going into this that their magic was pretty pretty over the top but it, it does seem that um there's a fair bit of balance going on here we, we still need to look at their vortex which i know is pretty strong so uh, we'll just do that one now then Okay, I said Vortex, but actually this last one is a Wind. So they have like a rather short range Wind spell, so I guess this is a comparison to Burning Head. Burning Head, 20 damage per second, 20 second duration, uh, movement speed is 7 meters, and it burns on contact. So this is, Burning Head is a pretty staple for choke points and such, and it's pretty good. Now compared to um, the Hellhammer, You've got quite a bit more damage, haven't you? Because it's 48 damage, but it only lasts for 2 seconds compared to 20. Um, yeah, the movement speed is 60 ms. So that is... Wait, is that... Yeah, that is. That's, that's incredibly faster than this is. So it's going to be a lot harder to dodge once this lands, but... The low level spell is pretty competitive with price and the burn duration is four seconds. So it's it's gonna hit a fair amount. A lot of these seem very situational choke pointy, so they're gonna be very good in certain instances, but the, the cost of them is kinda high. But I guess as an overall balancing point, if it's gonna do a lot of damage, then that's a good way to go to it. So I guess uh, this is rather well balanced. So I give them more. A shout out for that because um, I actually thought that the magic had just been ridiculous and then it mean nothing afterwards. So I guess this this is kind of why um, this probably does so much damage then because all of these spells, while they're quite competitive compared to fire magic, it does seem like overall you'll not be casting as much because all these spells cost more. Like short from spamming the cheap fireball, I don't know like what you're gonna do like 20 24 spells on the high 11s and stuff it's it's gonna cost you way more magic and if anyone on the other side has like mani ma 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 magic dampening then it's gonna really hinder your ability to actually get spells off regularly so you might want to save your magic up and then do a burst of them or try and get the enemy into a choke point and then fire a load of magic at them so yeah, this is going to be uh, it's going to be quite interesting. I look forward to checking this out, and we will be doing a um, a very long live stream for the release to the public of the DLC. So hopefully you will join me for that. I wish you good fortune in your wars to come. If you have any comments, feedback, suggestions, ideas, please let me know in the comments. Let's uh, start a bit of chatter. I did think these spells would be more over the top than they are. Not going to lie, but it seems in good comparison to Chaos Warriors. You know, they're, they're pretty on par with fire. They're going to cost more, but they're going to do more damage. It's going to be uh, interesting to see how to play out. All right, I'll see you the next one.